So Errol Spence defeats Mikey Garcia on a 12 round unanimous decision. This was domination by Errol Spence. Leading up to this fight, I've done very few videos on this fight purely because ever since the fight was announced, I was heavily, heavily, heavily favouring Errol Spence to win this fight. I didn't know how. I was thinking more so points and as it turns out, that was kind of what happened because I just felt that weight divisions are there for a reason and that Mikey Garcia, he's not even that big at 140. He's really a lightweight and Errol Spence, who is a massive, massive welterweight. You could argue he's probably the biggest welterweight you know, next to Sean Porter, he's probably the biggest welterweight out there. So, I kind of felt that this was kind of a foregone conclusion going into this fight. I did expect Mikey Garcia to be a bit more competitive than he was in this fight. Because for those who haven't seen the fight, Errol Spence boxed in the back foot for pretty much the entirety of this fight. He looked fantastic boxing on the back foot. You know, he did a great, great jab. He was keeping Garcia at bay. I think Garcia felt Spence's power early on and it really deterred him. And from then on, he was kind of looking to try and set up maybe one big shot and Lennox Lewis on commentary pointed out that you know Garcia is looking for that perfect shot but if he doesn't throw any other punches that shot's not going to come and it was it was like that you know Mikey Garcia he did try he showed a good chin in this fight he showed you know good stubbornness good resistance to stick in there you know he showed decent defense on the inside um but really on the outside that um Aaron Spence's jab was finding the home definitely and, you know, Spence, you know, he did what he had to do. He was ripping the shots into the body. But he was, you know, primarily keeping it at a distance. You know, he's very, very comfy at that distance. And he didn't really seem bothered by anything in this fight. Anything Garcia was, you know, throwing at him. He just seemed to kind of take it all in the stride. And I think it was the 8th or the ninth round. He really started kind of getting on top of Garcia and really bullying him and really landing some good stinging shots on him. And, you know, it got to the point where you were thinking, you know, is the referee going to jump in and stop this fight? He didn't jump in and stop it, but the corner, Robert Garcia was actually looking at me pulling Mikey out, but Mikey wanted to complete the 12 rounds, which he did, which is, you know, credit to him, but by the end of the 12th round, I hadn't given Garcia a round, I thought the closest round in this fight was the first, and that was kind of a feeling out round, and even then, it was pretty much a Spence round, so, you know, Garcia, fair play to him, he wanted to be great, he dared to be great, he decided to jump up to two weight divisions, as I said, the start of the video, weight divisions for a reason, and this was a way too far and a step too far. You know, uh, Errol Spence, I would, I'd love to see him versus Crawford because I think that they are the two best welterweights in the world right now. Errol Spence, I love watching. He is just a fantastic fighter. He's a tremendous body puncher. He's not the biggest one-punch hitter in the world, but he will wear you down and, you know, he will get to you. And he gets to most people. He got to Kel Brook. He just gets to most people. So... It was a fantastic performance from Errol Spence. Uh, by the end of the 12th round, you know, as I said, I didn't give Mikey Garcia a round. I thought that, leading up to this fight, that Errol Spence would win this fight reasonably comfortably, but I didn't think it'd be as dominant. I thought Garcia would have moments in this fight, but yeah, no, he really didn't. And um, I would like to see Garcia go back down to lightweight and maybe try and get the Vasyl Lomachenko fight. I think that'd be a very, very fun fight to watch. Very interesting fight. And I think that'd be a lot more competitive than... Garcia versus Spence definitely whereas Mikey Garcia I would like him to I'd love to see him fight Terence Crawford but I can't see that fight happening anytime soon so I guess you know Sean Porter or Manny Pacquiao Manny Pacquiao who was at ringside would be kind of the logical next step for um, Errol Spence because I just can't see him fighting Terence Crawford which is a shame because I really like that fight I think that is that is a fight that I want to see more than any of the others you know, never mind the key tournaments, never mind the Sean Porters. I would love to see Spence versus Crawford. That, to me, is a fantastic fight. You know, we have to get and see how um, Crawford does against Pacquiao. But I've, or not Pacquiao, sorry. We have to see how Crawford does against Khan. But um, that's the fight I'd love to see. It's just unfortunate that, you know, Bob Arum and uh, Al Heyman don't see eye to eye, which makes that fight all the more difficult to make. But that is the fight that I would love to see. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this. Leave your thoughts down below. How did you see this card? You know, I, I for pay-per-view, it wasn't amazing, personally. But, you know, what can you... you, you beggars can't be choose. We didn't get a pay-per-view over here, over in Ireland in the UK. So, we can't really complain about over in the States. I think it was something like $70, which is kind of... Which is steep, considering we get AJ cards over here for 20 quid. You know, 20-something quid. Which is very steep, very steep price. But um, yeah, no, I, I thought there was a few decent fights. You know, we got to see Lewis Neary um, in his US debut. He looked good. Dave Benavides, who I'm going to do a video about, you know, he looked quite good in his fight. So overall, it was a decent enough card without being spectacular. So anyway, those are my thoughts on this. As always, leave yours down below. 
Thank you for dropping by the channel. Much appreciated. Please hit subscribe and I will talk to you after.